Oh, good day, adventurers. Let's get ready for an early morning fish tomorrow morning. Since I haven't been going so well lately, I thought I'd give something new, something, something different a go. So what I'm gonna do is troll some hard body lures. Something I've been meaning to do for years now. Just haven't, haven't got around to it. I've had the lures for a long time. So tomorrow, gonna give it a go. The conditions are pretty good in the morning. I'm very light wind from the west, so offshore, it's probably mid-tide. Uh, so good for an early morning sunrise troll. So the plan is to head out to about the five meter line out off Redcliffe Peninsula and troll some hard body lures. So I've got a couple, because it's about five meters, these are about five meter divers. Uh, you can see that close up. Get me right down near the bottom. I'll troll along and uh, let's try different lures. So I've got that Atomic, as I said, good old Qantas. And Barabuster. Nice shiny gold Barabuster. And Michael, I'll give good old Real Buster, Adventure Primal one a go as well, again. Give it another chance. So yeah, head out, five meter mark, troll along it, see if something grabs onto these. That's the plan. So, all right, I'm gonna finish setting up and uh, see you in the morning. Check you then. So the morning, I'm out. Sensational morning. Hardly any breeze at all, hardly any chop. It's gonna be perfect for trolling these lures. You can see it's first light in the background, perfect timing as well. So uh, being, what is it? Mid tide and the tide is coming back in. That means I'm gonna start from about Osborne and head south because the tide will be going in, the currents will be going that way as well. So yeah, let's get into it and see if this produces something because I ain't been seeing much action lately. About time I get something. Anyway, let's get into it, eh? Let's see where we are with Navionics. Sit a little bit out off the five meter. Use that as a guide anyway. Gold. Gold Barra Bomber. We'll put Michael's out later. All right, so let's get moving. Head basically south. All right, Barra Bomber. We're moving along now at, what's that? Well, just idling along. Gonna throw the if you can see that, the gold barra bomber, barra buster out. You can feel it, you can feel it wobbling away, so it's doing its job. Put that on auto, autopilot. Let's get out the atomic diver. Looks like a nice profile. Pop that off. Make sure the tension's good. In case we get a hit. Now just steer the ship where I want it to. Sit back and relax. Heading towards Shield Street Reef now. One thing that this allows me to do is actually have a look around at the same time. Let's if we go back to uh, yeah. map plus traditional. And uh, quick draw maps as well. Start recording. Try and look for some uh, 
interesting marks at the same time. Going up to Shield Street and Reef. Some fish sitting at the bottom that's marked that. A couple of fish marks to try out next time with bait. The motor's locked off at three knots. It's on to autopilot, no hands. Heading towards Redcliffe Jetty. Sitting about where I wanted to be, around the five metre marks on Navionics. That's the Atomic Lure. That's the Gold Bomber, the Barra Buster. The Barra Buster's just been over a bit more. Maybe we're going through some weed. Feels like it's wobbling okay. The atomic doesn't. It's on top of the water. Both are on top of the water. Let's see why. Greeners. That's one reason why. Good old greener. Okay, so we went, definitely went through some seaweed there, the weed patch. The sun's coming up over there, it's Morton Island. Perfect timing. Perfect time to be doing this, I think. Red Cliff Jetties. Bit of weed. A lot of great weed. Check this one while it's out. Make sure there's no weed on there. It's Margate Beach. Looking good, except for a little bit of weed. Let's put the real buster one out. Real buster. There you go, Mike. Real buster time. Been past these garnet rocks. A few boats sitting out there today. See a bit of action starting to happen on the sounder. Bottom wise, anyway. Been parking lot on garnet rocks. Oh, there we go. Got some sign. Let's make that a mark. Scott's Point in the distance. Can't get much further than that, so keep going. That'll be my end point. Look at that water. Awesome. Sensational. A few boats here at Scott Point. Scott's Point. Margate boat ramp. Straight out from it. Bit of structure showing up there. Uh, coming up to the finish line. There's the green zone. The 
think we'd better turn around, eh? Well, just swapping over to the Qantas Lua. And the Real Buster Lua. Head back now, heading north. Nothing happened, only a grinner. Qantas Lua doesn't want to dive. Take, take Qantas off, go back to Barra. Barra Buster back out. Real Buster out on the left, Barra Buster on the right. There won't be any snapper around now, but could be flat edged that sitting closer in, or sitting around the place, so we're heading a bit closer to the shoreline. Shallower water. Around the five to four, four metre, five metre area. See if we can find something. You can see the contours get closer here. I head towards the tighter contours and move that way. Head north from there. Go over that mark, that uh, contour bump, I like to call it. It's a bit shallower. I'll sit on the edge of it anyway. Bit of structure on the bottom. No fish signs though. Oh, there's a fish line. A bit rockier or weedier. Rocks. Some rocky bottom now. Uh, some meta signs. So that's a little rocky under underwater bomby thingy. to know. Oh, there we go. There we go. Double. Double hookup. Crikey. Yep. Double hookup. Yeah, it's the fish on this one. Let's turn you off. Yep, fish tapping away. Fish tapping. I haven't got the net ready in case this is a flat. <sighs> net ready. This is the real buster. Lua. Definitely a fish on there, but it's not doing much of a fight. It's a big cod. Nice cod. On the real buster. There you go, Michael. Hold on the real buster. <laughs> Definitely measure that one. Looks like 38. Yes, 38 and a half. Nice. My favorite fish to eat. The real buster, Lua, has produced the goods. Perfect. There you go. That's Osborne to Scotts Point and back in the morning. Took a bit longer than I expected, but that was good. Sensational morning. Very happy with that one. I've picked up a nice cod, my favorite fish to eat. Plus, I found a few extra marks while uh, while uh, sounding around, whilst moving. So I've got a few marks to try next time uh, I come out bait fishing.
and I saw some spots where some fish were sitting, so I'll give that a go for sure. So, not a waste of time, that was actually very productive, that was the idea, find some spots, find some fish, and I've done it, you beauty.